In the blockbuster movie The Martian, Matt Damon's character grows potatoes on Mars to stretch out his freeze-dried rations long enough to be rescued by his crew. He has to gather the Martian soil, find a way to make a lot of water, and collect organic fertilizer. But Mars is only one-third the gravity of Earth. Would potatoes even grow normally under low gravity? The movie probably left this out for one very simple reason. We have no idea. Whether for colonizing new planets or for long spacefaring missions under zero gravity, the future of space travel will require growing food rather than bringing it all from Earth. And so astronauts aboard the International Space Station are conducting experiments right now that will help tell us how plants respond to low gravity and how they can sense gravity in the first place. As part of these experiments, astronauts orbiting in the ISS recently ate red romaine lettuce that was grown in space for the first time ever. And while the lettuce leaves could grow toward the light, without gravity, the roots don't know which way is down. This could affect the plant's ability to stay upright or to collect nutrients from the soil. Back on Earth, scientists have known for a long time that both the root and the shoot are extremely sensitive to gravity. Before ever reaching the light, a seed planted upside down in the soil will quickly reorient both the young root and shoot to grow in the right direction. And if you turn a plant on its side, even in the dark, the stem will quickly bend upward to start growing against gravity again. Now we know that humans use their inner ear to send signals to the brain about balance and gravity. But without ears or brains, plants have developed a completely different system. And the key is to have something heavy enough that it falls in the direction of gravity. And so plants pack a lot of starch into specialized sacs called statilists in cells in the root and the shoot. And the statilists then sink to the bottom of the cell. And if the plant is turned on its side, they'll roll down toward gravity. But how do heavy sacks of starch tell a plant which way is down? Well, we really don't know. But one idea is that as the statilists sink to the bottom of the cell, they can stretch open ion channels. This lets a zap of electricity cross the cell barrier. And even without nerves, plants could use this flow of electricity as a signal that tells them where the new down is and to start growing in the opposite direction. It could be something else entirely, though. These heavy sacks of starch could pull down on cables within the cell as they fall, like an acrobat falling into a safety net, creating a force that the cell could recognize. Or, as the statilists fall down, they could push the cell against its own cell wall, compressing some specialized protein, like pushing a button that reorients the plant. But nature is far more inventive than we are. The real way that plants learn down from up could be far more complicated and way more interesting than we can even imagine right now. And so from lettuce orbiting the Earth at 17,000 miles per hour to knocking plants on their side in our lab here in St. Louis, scientists around the world and 250 miles above it are working to understand just how plants respond to gravity so that we can equip future space missions with fresh veggies and a little slice of our green Earth, even on red Mars or in deep black space.